Greetings everyone, I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Stellaris campaign. Being streamed live on Twitch. As of, uh, this recording time. Alright, so, we are going to unpause, and, uh, we are going to actually, yeah, we are recording. I just wanted to make sure, live stream. And, uh, yeah, let's continue building ships, because that is what we need to do. Hello there, Auxilian. Uh, Oxion, excuse me, not Auxilian. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh... I, I, I can't, uh, I can't evaluate the, the game on, on, like, a review-type basis. Um, because the review embargo isn't up yet. This is just the streaming embargo that is up. But I will say, I, I did spend, uh, one, uh, I believe it was Sunday, Sunday afternoon, playing from, like, around 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. So, this is definitely a, uh, um, and this is definitely, uh, I, I want you to basically draw your own conclusions from that, if you will. <laughs> on whether or not this game is good. Okay, so, uh, Sirius system has been fully surveyed. Very nice. Oh, crap, our, our, we've had a science ship at Seoul this whole time, doing nothing. That is not good. Okay, so we are going to survey... I wonder how long they've been, they've been sitting there. So let's go ahead and survey these guys. Out here, hopefully we can reach that. Alright. And, uh, our construction ship also, uh, needs to be off doing something else. Uh, we really need to... We need more minerals, guys. We really need more minerals. Evading it's... hostile fleet. Oh, crap. What did we find? Crystalline Entity. Hey, actually... You know what? Let's take them on. Let's take them on with our strike force, shall we? Give, uh... Give our Admiral a little bit of, uh... A little bit of breathing room here. A little bit of combat training. Target practice, as it were. Did I not shift click? I must have not shift click it. Clicked through these. That's okay. I will shift click through these now. All right. Hostile fleets present. We will go ahead and send these guys in for the attack. Hopefully they won't get too bloodied. I can probably set these to follow there. And oops. Not hit the right key there. Sir. Hostile fleet engaged. Watch the fire loose here. Oh, they're regenerating. Interesting. But they are no match for our uh, corvettes, as you can see. Okay. Oh, they did not leave any debris behind. That's a shame. That really sucks, actually. Okay, so we can send these guys over. Back over to survey here. No problem. And, uh... Yeah, I would suggest we... Build a... 
we should build a uh, frontier outpost here. Oh, we didn't finish surveying that area. All right, well, we need to survey that area before we build a frontier outpost. Question, will you do a playthrough of this as the humans with a democracy after this playthrough? You know, I, I have thought about it. That would not be a bad idea. I, I, I do want to not necessarily do... Um, there is actually... Okay, there are actually, like, uh, pre, pre-made gover uh, governments available. I mean, not pre-made governments, pre-made nations, I should say. Available. Um, <laughs> purge all humans. Yeah, uh, there are... Anomaly found. All right. Sorry, I can keep getting distracted here. There are pre-made, um... Pre-made governments. Uh, pre... Why I keep on calling them governments? They're nations. Pre-made nations that, uh, you could start off with. And one of them is basically United Federation of Planets. Uh, the other one is basically Mirror Universe Federation. Uh... Okay, so this one carries a 22% risk. Okay. Base risk 30% due to scientist skill level. Okay, so the thing... We're going to take the risk because it is a 22% risk. It's, it's, you know, we're just not going to be so cocky with it this time. We're going to be weary. And hopefully our ship won't blow up this time. Oh, damn it! I jinxed it again. Ah. Okay. Well, now it's been said. Hopefully, I won't. Uh, hopefully, it won't blow up. Okay. Uh, could we maybe? How much are our frontier outposts right now? Eighty-five. Okay. Crash scout craft. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship. Lean our scientists believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean by looters yet. We will study its design and gain 60 research in engineering. That's pretty nice. It's always nice when your ship doesn't blow up in your face. When you research something. When you when you scan anomalies. Research complete. Anomaly found. Okay, we found another anomaly. 15% risk this time. A small cargo pod has been left to drift in space above this gas giant. It has been captured by the planet's gravity well and will eventually be pulled into its atmosphere. Well, we should definitely research it then. Okay, before it slips away. Physics Lab 1 got... Uh, yeah, we are going to take deflectors because we need defenses. And, um, these guys, uh, these guys we know have mass drivers, which are effective against shields. Okay, maybe that was the bad choice. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we can actually, we can change the research. Okay. Um, let's go with Power Plant 2. And we actually do have enough to... Let's, let's get our construction ship building more uh, mining stations here. Because we definitely need more damn materials. <laughs> All right. We are a very Research mineral complete. poor country, which is unfortunate because we just bought, uh, we just got uh, colony ships, and uh, okay, yeah, let's get this galactic ambitions. That will extend our borders without us having to do anything and give us the ability to uh, snipe survey data from people.
Okay. Declare rival leader. Ah, you have, uh, you have rivaled us, my friend. That is most unfortunate for you. You're still equivalent to us. Good to know. Found an anomaly. You are researching it. Good. Good, good. Abandoned cargo pod. A discarded cargo bod pod was left by someone in the upper up atmosphere of Capella 3 long ago. It somehow escaped the notice of other spacefarers, and its decaying orbit means it would have been lost in the gas giant's crushing atmosphere within another few years. Uh, when the crew of the Mighty Sniper unsealed the pod, they found a stash of alien jewelry made out of precious metal metals, and we gain energy credits from that. Okay. That is pretty nice. Alright, so we are... Why don't we speed up time a little bit more? It is kind of risky doing that, but... Um, you know, I don't think these guys... These guys are kind of pushovers, frankly. I don't think they're going to declare war on us anytime soon. That's just my opinion. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Okay. Comet sighted. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particular fault tails was recently observed in the solar system. Its passing was uneventful. It is a good omen, though. And we gained 40 influence. <laughs> Alright. 30% risk. We're gonna research that. And we're gonna research that anomaly. I did not bother to read that, unfortunately, so we're going to have to wait a little while. Um, we're going to move these guys back over here. Where? No, 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 no. Cancel. Stop. We're going to move this guy over there. Yeah, that's, that's something that I, unfortunately... I found myself doing time and time again is uh, accidentally clicking that and uh, oh, crystalline entities, bigger crystalline entities, crystalline elites, actually is what they're called. Fascinating. That that does not look like a a very nice star to me. That oh, that's a pulsar. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's get back over here. And we have built a mining station. Very nice. More minerals, more fun. Uh, let's go ahead and build some more squid killers. Uh, Alright. Construction complete. United Malagal provinces have declared the Commonwealth of Uthon their rival. Interesting. So we have... A situation here where we are both, uh... Alright, so they actually... Hmm. They're evangelizing zealots, which means that, uh... Uh, they seek to spread their faith across the galaxy and are not afraid of... They're not above using military might to force others to accept their beliefs. So, these are basically the, the worst, uh, worst kind of, uh... Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, the kind that, you know, uh, try and force their way through your door, uh, when, when you answer it. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we are justified in rivaling them. I feel less justified in rivaling them. They... Although they do not like our slavery or purge policies. 
Well, they will find out soon enough. The, the Celestial Empire is a nation designed for computers and automatons not breathing organics. Are you even capable of feeling emotion? Wow, that hurts. That hurts, man. That reminds me, we should probably rename the, the Celestial Empire to just Celestial Empire. That would be a good idea. There we go. Are you, uh... Are you not researching that? Yeah, I probably... Accidentally... Cut you off there, I, I do apologize. Oh, no wait. I just sent the damn, wrong damn... Survey the damn system. And then when you're done with that, please survey Zedrin. So we can actually move somebody there. System survey complete. Okay. Alien mural. Oh god damn it. As you just see, their their borders just expanded. Damn it. Okay. While conducting surface scans of Capella 2, science officer Gavin McNeven and the crew of the mighty Paragon discovered what appeared to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Fascinating. Situation log updated. We should definitely do that. Okay, so we have to have one signed ship in orbit with skill one or higher. We certainly have that. Right here, right now. Research. Okay. Uh, so, because these guys are dicks, and built built one ahead of time, uh, built a, excuse me, a, a freaking frontier outpost, I should say, we cannot uh, go into this area. So, that is... That sucks. That, that really does suck for us. Um, we're going to have to build frontier outposts elsewhere. And I think actually we are going to want to, to get a colony established in, in Sirius pretty soon here. Before that gets swallowed up. Uh, so we are going to build a colony ship as soon as we are able. And we are not able to yet. Okay, so Mighty Sniper, you go survey that. And then you can go... Oops. No, 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 no. Damn it. So of course when I'm, when I'm streaming that I... Uh, I freaking mess up everything and look like an idiot. No, that's okay. Uh... Special project complete. All right, science officer Gavin McNeven has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Capella 2. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural has been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that the creators are also extinct back by now. Perhaps most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkable good condition. Okay, so Gavin 
gains 200 experience, and we gain 60 engineering research. Pretty nice. All right, Gavin, go off and, uh, no, that's not Gavin. You're Gavin. Other Gavin. All right. Go survey these guys. about nothing to see here complete. move along oh we can finish building mining outposts here that is I would say slightly more important okay so these guys are also continental that is a problem Strange mountain formation. Efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. We will research that. The hell out of that. System survey <sighs> complete. Okay. Sorry, I was just checking Twitch, making sure everything is fine. I think everything is fine. Engineering technology available for research. Aha! Yes, we can upgrade our guns. That is... That is a worthwhile pursuit, I would say. Let's, uh... Let's also see if we can... Upgrade any of our things here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let's continue building. Building these out. Uh, since they, I think they just built a, a frontier outpost here. They are equivalent. They are equivalent. We just have to keep building to our force limit, I think. And you guys need to, you guys need to join hands. Start a big old love chain there. Construction complete. Failure. The unnatural mount formation that was found on Marfark 3A turned out to be quite natural after all. Science officer Gavin McNeven feels as if it was the unfortunate race of resources for the mighty Paragon to remain here even a second longer. That is unfortunate. So yeah, you can fail, and uh, you know, it, it's I wouldn't say it's uh, XCOM odds, but it sometimes feels like it. So you are done surveying that system. Go ahead and start surveying other systems, please. We need to be fruitful and multiply here. You are done. Let's go build some more mining stations over here. Barnard Star. We got Space Amoeba over here. Let's go over here and see if the Space Amoeba are still there. I'm gonna slow down time just a little bit here. Yep, they are still there, and, uh, yeah, they are not, they are a bit too strong for us right now. Okay, so, run door. 4-4. Four, four. Alright. Good to know. Research complete. The Delamar is a very unremarkable system, it looks like. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, let's see here what we find. Crystalline elites. Mm, 
Okay, so we'll be surveying other systems then. System survey complete. Oh, what happened? Seems like we're missing. We are missing something. Looks like we're missing a group or something. Continue building here. Front door has been fully surveyed. Encountered hostiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you go survey that, then that, then that, then that. Oops, no. Just a reminder of the size of this galaxy. This is just one small corner of it. And this isn't even the biggest galaxy. This is an 800 star galaxy. Okay, so uh, we're going to take research speed plus Hostile 5%. Detected. Space Amoeba has... Wow, space amoeba are bold. All right, group together. Anomaly found. Yes. Okay. An abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that it relied on solar power to function. Fascinating. Construction complete. Oh, they ran. I don't think we're gonna let them do that. We have unemployed population. Okay, so unemployed population just means that they don't have anything to work on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that. There is no mention of Pluto, no. Yeah, uh, they... Pluto does not even exist here. Which is actually a shame, because... It is a... You know, they, there could be minerals there. Or... You know... I mean, there there are a lot of nice exoplanets out, out here that, you know, we could actually... Potentially mine... If, uh, if we, if we did get this advanced. Um, but, uh, we don't take advantage of that here. Apparently. Also, Jupiter, apparently, does not have any value whatsoever to us. Except they did have that anomaly. But, uh... Anyway. Uh... We should chase after the, the space amoeba, I think. As soon as we are all united, because I think it fled because of these guys. Uh, yes, uh, Jupiter does have, uh, somebody asked, uh, does Jupiter have that one possible life-giving moon, Europa? Yes, and, and actually, we, we're not sure if Europa has oceans or not. We think they might, it might have oceans. Um, in fact, actually, no, I think we did figure out that it does have oceans, and that we are going to actually send a, send a probe there to, to drill into the ice, and, uh, and see see if we find life. So that, that's actually pretty exciting. Um, I'm trying to remember what the probe is called. Uh, but it's in development and everything. 
Uh, okay. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Andak 3B. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. We seem to be gaining a lot of engineering research through these anomalies, I've noticed. It's not a bad thing, certainly. Engineering is how we gain, um, we gain new ship types, we gain, um, we gain new, I think we gain some, some components, like we do gain missiles and stuff like that through, the missile tree is gained through engineering. So, it's, it's nice that we're, we're getting a lot of that, but, alright, we were going to chase after, you chase to, uh, to our friend there. Unfortunately, we do not have the range that uh, the Space Amoeba has, so it's probably long gone. But we might as well try. Okay, so Barnard's Star is uh, completely uh, tapped out. Unfortunately, we don't have any more... Um, that's... Hostile fleet detected. Oh, where are you? Evading hostile fleet. Up, oh, space amoeba and Andak. All right. Well, that does give give us a chance potentially to. Um... Oh, right, there were space amoeba there. The second most exciting news of the day is the possibility of of a possible three life-giving worlds in a nearby system solar survey system. complete that is extremely exciting actually i do the kepler kepler project uh, or kepler space telescope complete. rather i think is is one of one of the best things that um nasa has done uh, this um this decade certainly uh, might wind up being the the best thing they've they've the most uh, significant thing they've done since landing on the moon. If we find actually uh, find um, find some some actual like continent, you know, like space Earths, that would be pretty awesome. All right, which one is the one that had a? Yes, you're the one that had the Gaia world, Coldax. Okay. So you're completely useless right now. Uh, right. We, we don't need more power. We don't need more power. We need, uh... Okay. We need, uh, minerals. Build minerals. I know NASA has done a bit for space exploration, but I can't help but be excited for private space corporations like SpaceX. I do agree with that as well, actually. I think what Elon Musk is doing, um, or what he has planned, is super exciting, and um, I do think that uh, private space, uh, the privatization of space is going to be uh, the way forward, really. It's, it's going to... That's going to be how we do asteroid mining and uh, stuff like that. I mean, we right now, okay, we don't really need to mine asteroids um, because we have we have plenty of of materials, rare earth materials in particular, uh, on Earth right now. But okay, here's the thing: most of them are in. Uh, are in uh, regions like uh, they're they're in specific areas of the world like uh, China and uh, you know a few few other places and uh, if it ever becomes like politically unviable for for us to to mine there the or you know if if it depletes or something or it, you know really starts damaging our our uh, planet, which, you know, I, w I would argue that 
uh, most, uh, most industrial uh, mining operations, industry, heavy industry in general, tends to do more harm than good to the planet. Um, asteroid mining uh, would be a very great way to get those rare min those rare earth uh, minerals that we need to make things like iPods and or excuse me, well iPods, iPhones would would really be uh, the modern one, but uh, yeah, just just electronics in general and. Uh, Yeah, so that's that's very exciting. Um, let's go back to surveying these guys here, and um, yeah, so we are going to. Are you still surveying? Okay, good. You're going to have to do something here soon. Uh, no, actually, I think we're actually, it's actually time to take a break for YouTube. Uh, so, so for my YouTube audience, uh, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, I will see you, uh, see you in the next video. Take care.